going on with the storm system. You know, we've been talking about it for the last several days, and now the storm system is finally here. Hi, it's Storm Tracker 16, Chief Meteorologist Kurt Aaron. And our forecast, yeah, we've got that rain still coming down. The good news is the storm system is underperforming. Uh, where we are right now in the afternoon, mo the models had more rain in the rain gauge than what we actually have right now. We only have just a little over a quarter inch of rain in our backyard. So that's good news. That's the flooding concerns, but we're not done. And we have other issues that we have to deal with. So let's jump to the boards and you can see there's that stalled frontal boundary. And what we have happening here is that stalled frontal boundary is right up and down the Northeast into the mid Atlantic region. So if we were to look at this front, it would be right along here and uh, it's just sitting there and it's not doing much. So we're gonna continue to watch it. Waves of low pressure are actually riding up along that front and that's going to continue. They're moving in this direction and that's gonna continue as we head into uh, the evening hour. So we're not quite done with uh, the rain just yet. I'm gonna back it out a little bit. You can see down there towards Virginia into Maryland and those areas we're talking about down here. This is all what's coming up in our direction. So. We're not done with it just yet. Now, at the same time this is happening, we also have colder air, which is moving in now from the south. So if you look up here over the Great Lakes, and I'll put this pointer right there, that arrow, that's showing uh, that snow that's coming across Michigan right now. That's colder air that's moving across the lakes. That colder air is gonna be moving over our region as we get into uh, the overnight. So we're gonna keep a close eye on that. And of course, the winds will pick up too. Look at these peak wind gusts tomorrow morning. 37 miles an hour, and these are hilltops, so anything above 12, 1300 feet above sea level. Uh, where are the winds now? Well, they're not bad right now at all. They're only about five to 10 miles an hour, but those wind speeds will be picking up as we head through the overnight. So let's talk about the timing of the rain. I'm gonna just back this up, because the timing is really the problematic part of this whole system. So here we are showing you 430, future clouds and radar, and you can see some of those heavier yellows and oranges embedded there over eastern Pennsylvania. And then once we get to about midnight, that colder air now arrives in the Wyoming Valley. It starts in the northwest and keeps pushing south, but it's gonna take a little while to switch over to just all snow. I think uh, the vast majority of the snow that we pick up over northeastern Pennsylvania will fall between three o'clock in the morning and nine o'clock in the morning, as you can see here with future radar taking it hour by hour. So what does that look like as far as totals go? I think a general dusting out there in central Pennsylvania to as much as maybe two, three, even could have a spotty four inch total over eastern Pennsylvania. And that corner too, that northeast corner, that's also where we're going to see that colder air being trapped in. We're talking about right around here. You see that? That's why you've got the higher numbers there. So. Uh, We'll monitor it, uh, additional rainfall. This is uh, something good, I'm happy to report this. As I mentioned in the very top, this whole system is underperforming as far as rain goes. So additional rainfall, maybe a third of an inch, Wellsboro to as much as maybe an inch over parts of the Poconos. And I showed you earlier, um, we're really not seeing a lot of recorded rain already. Let's go to that board, boom, there we are. So just over a quarter inch at the airport, about a third of an inch there in Williamsport and uh, under a half inch right now Mount Pocono, so we can certainly handle those. The problem will be the changeover to that snow and the timing of when it happens. And we'll go over that one last time so you can see it happens through the overnight and it's gonna come down at a pretty good clip while many of us are sleeping. Problem is, as we go to roll out for our Monday morning commutes, work or school, it's wrapped up in central Pennsylvania, but eastern Pennsylvania still will have some uh, snow showers around and you got to give the crews time to take care of the roadways and that of course is something that's going to take some time as well. And then the rest of Monday uh, looks breezy and cooler. Look at our temperature. It actually flatlines, goes down as we head through the afternoon hours. So these are all the things that we're keeping an eye on here in the Weather Center. We're going to have much more coming up on Newswatch 16 at 6. So just give us a little more time here and, um, and then we'll update you again. We're going to have a Q&A starting at around nine o'clock tonight for anybody that has questions about the storm or um, you know, would, would, would like more information on snowfall totals and those types of things. We'll do that around nine o'clock tonight. But until the six, uh, be safe, stay dry out there. And again, we're gonna have that changeover as we head into Monday morning for the commute. And then there's the rest of your Monday forecast, breezy and just colder. Uh, our high temperature will be an early morning high with the rain before we see that change over to snow. 
Much more coming up on Newswatch 16 at 6.